Okay, finite A, chapter two, extra practice. Here's example five. So in this, we have a weighted voting system that has a mystery quota. Quota is six, five, four, three. Okay, so I don't know what the quota is, but I know player one has four votes, or sorry, player one has six votes, player two has five, etc. And the first question is, what is the smallest legal quota for Q, or valid quota, um, in this weighted voting system? So I want the smallest legal quota. Now the smallest legal quota in words, oops, excuse me, smallest, smallest legal quota in words is a simple majority, which means that our quota has to be more than one half of our total. Okay. So in other words, our quota has to be more than one half of this total. This total to me looks like 18, okay? So our quota has to be more than one half of 18, or in other words, it has to be more than nine. So the smallest the quota is allowed to be is more than nine, or in other words, 10. What is the largest legal quota for Q? The largest legal quota would be the total itself. You're not allowed to have a quota that's bigger than a unanimous vote. So the largest legal quota would be 18. So any quota between 10 and 18 would be considered to be a valid quota. Any quota that's 9 or less would be too small, and any quota that is 19 or more would be too big. The next question says, what is the smallest quota that would give all four players veto power? Now this is a really kind of tricky question here. I want all four players to have veto power. I like to think of these kind of problems backwards. It's pretty easy to give player one veto power, but it's very difficult for the fewest number of votes, player four, to have veto power. So let's think about player four. In order for player four to have veto power, that means that player one plus player two plus player three put together can't win. Okay. In order for player four to have veto power, then the other players cannot combine their votes to win. When I look at the other players, one and two and three, I end up with 15. They have 15 votes put together. So if 15 votes can't win, that means the quota must be higher than 15 votes if player four has veto power. That means the quota could be 16 or 17 or 18. Can't be 19 because that'd be illegal. So any of these would give player four veto power. The question says, what's the smallest quota that would give them veto power? And the great thing is, if you can give player four veto power with three votes, it works the other way. If somebody with three votes has veto power, then definitely somebody with six or five or four would have veto power. So my answer here is 16. The next question says, what is the largest quota Q that would ensure that no player has veto power? Now, if no player has veto power, let's think about it backwards. If anybody is most likely to have veto power, or as we're looking for veto power, we often say, if player one doesn't have veto power, then nobody will. Because if you can't stop people with six votes, you're not going to be able to stop them with five. So I'm going to think, all right, I want player one to not have veto power. Because if I can keep player one from having veto power, the rest of them. So what does it mean to have veto power? Well, that means that player two and player three and player four, okay, if player one does not have veto power, it means that the other three players can win. And if you put their votes together, two, uh, sorry, five and four and three, okay, these people put together should have enough votes to meet the quota. Now they add up to 12, okay? So 12 can win. That means that the quota could be 12, or the quota could be 11, or the quota could be 10. It can't be less than 10 because 10 would be illegal. But any of those numbers would allow the other players to have the quota or, or more. You know, they've met the quota. Um, but it does ask you for the largest number. So I'm going to go with 12. A couple other things that we talked about in this chapter. Um, just some miscellaneous formula, think about it things. A lot of times we let V represent the total number of votes in a weighted voting system. So if I had 13, 12, 10, 3, 1, 1, 1, a lot of times you'll be asked how many votes were in this weighted voting system? And you would combine all of the numbers um, except for the quota. You need to leave the quota alone. The quota tells you the minimum number of votes. Putting the rest of those guys together would give you our um, the total. So add everything up except the quota. That gives me a total number of votes is 28.
The number of players represents how many numbers are actually after that quota. So the quota and then player one, player two, player three, player four, player five, player six. So if we're talking about a simple or a strict majority, you can use these two words interchangeably. Symbolically, that means that the quota has to be greater than one half of your total votes. Okay. So for example, in this problem, if I wanted to know what a simple majority was, I would say, well, the quota has to be greater than one half of 28. Half of 28 is 14. And so the quota would need to be 15 for this to be a simple majority. Now in our case, the quota is 13. So apparently, I have constructed this problem very poorly. All right, this is an illegal quota. It's too small. Oops. Next problem, the quota is two-thirds. Now anytime it says you have a two-thirds quota, that means it needs to be at least two-thirds. Okay. At least would mean greater than or equal to. Watch out for more than. That would be two-thirds of my total. Okay. So in this particular problem, if I knew that the total votes is 28, I do two-thirds of 28. So 2 divided by 3 times 28, and I end up with 18.6 repeating. And if the quota is 18.6 repeating, has to be greater than or equal to that, I'm going to have to go with 19, because 18 would be too small. And 19 here um, would round me up to the next whole number. Now, if you want to know the number of coalitions possible, remember coalitions, that would be what we would use for bands off. Okay, how many small groups of voters? Okay, and we would look for winning ones out of that. That formula is 2 to the n minus 1. So for bands off, if you had 6 players, like was in our weighted voting system, you would have to do 2 to the 6 minus 1. Which is going to end up being 63. And if we're talking about sequential coalitions, that's what we would use for shapely schubic so that would be orders of voters that formula is n factorial n times n minus one times n minus two etc for our problem at the top that would be six factorial which is 720. you should have these two formulas memorized and to know the difference between them